Bitty Bum, my leopard gecko. Um, today, I think I'm going to be expanding her enclosure. I've had them in these uh, zoo meds um, for a little bit, maybe a couple months, I'd say like five months, and I'm just not happy with them. I feel like my Legos are, my Legos, <laughs> I feel like my leopard geckos are not like thriving as I want them to. And honestly, I feel like at some point they were happier in the tubs, but um, I have some extra enclosures, some bigger enclosures that they might like. So um, I'm gonna move Bitty Bum tonight into this one. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna set her up. Uh, let's take her out for a sec. She's like, mom, no. Hi, baby. Wanna say hi, Suzanne? Hi, Suzanne. Look how beautiful she is. No, mom, no. Okay, love you, baby girl. Well, while I set this up, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. Um, and yeah. Also, I wanna just clarify, when I said I wasn't happy with them, I didn't mean I wasn't happy with my leopard geckos. I meant I was happy, uh, unhappy with the um, Zubat enclosure. So I'm probably going to get rid of these three and then have them all set up nicely. Uh, look at, hopefully she gives us a lick of the calcium. They really don't though. Bitty Bum, are you ready to move? Yeah? Was that a yeah? Oh, you're getting so big. Alright, let's get to moving guys. Okay, so first things first, I definitely have to clean out this enclosure here. I don't even know the size of this thing, but um, I've kept so many reptiles in here that I definitely need to clean it out. I'm going to get rid of all these branches and whatnot. I'm going to put her hide in here. I'm going to lay her substrate down as paper towel, not anything else. Um, the one thing I don't like about leopard geckos is that they're poop. I mean, they poop in one area all the single time, every single time, but their poop is so stinky. Like, this is this is where my other um, leopard gecko poops. It'll poop in the same section, but it smells like shit. Like, it's so bad. But anyways, so I'm gonna clean it out and I'm gonna time lapse it. So first things first, I already washed out the enclosure. Um, like usual, I only use hot water and Dawn soap. Sorry if I sound out of breath. Excuse me, Louis. Please don't lick my tank, please. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I was just washing out the tub. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna lay my paper towel down now and look at Louis. He's just so curious. So we're gonna fit it to about here. And notice that I didn't wipe it down just because I want to keep some of the water that's already in the enclosure because that could help because that could help with the humidity sorry i'm filming um lewis is like trying to help me already it's looking good this is what it looks like let it because this is going to dry out quickly because it's a screen enclosure i might tape like half of it just to keep more of the humidity inside of it like i said Let's go ahead and put her hide. So I have the um, enclosure already up on the shelf because I had to put the heat mat underneath. And then, you know what? I might just wipe this out because I can't see crap. They already know that Louis is helping me. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Louis. So I have a humid hide in here. Uh, as you can see, it's moist on the inside. I need to put a cover on it or put some moss or something up in here because it's not going to stay humid in here but then again i miss down all my closures every day so you know, I don't know. okay next i let her go in actually let her check it out Ugh. feel good to stretch your legs out Or, um she is in her calcium bowl again but so that's going to be her calcium bowl section this is her actual um food bowl section and i'm gonna put the water near the hide just so that like i said about the humidity and blah 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 um hopefully she eats some calcium she normally doesn't but yeah i'm gonna pour some water into bitty bombs enclosure 
Oh, I just missed. Oh my gosh, I can't film and do this. Oh my gosh. Just wow. <laughs> wow, okay, that's okay. Too much water is not, not bad. It's not bad. It's gonna dry out. And then she knows that's where I put her food. So let me just give her some meal water. I decided to use that branch in here anyway, just so she has something to like crawl on or something. Like Cause I'm not putting another hide in here. My geckos have grown up with just like literally one hide. So they're, they're fine. I know they don't need a second hide. They just need one for privacy and that's about it. So like I said, I'm gonna put some meal worms in here for her. And look, she's already in the hide. All right, so we have our mealworms and we are going to put some in for, oh gosh, in for them. So like I said in my previous video, I do about seven in each bowl. your food I know you smell it okay and I'm getting back to the screen part so I'm gonna actually scotch tape I don't know what the proper type of tape I'm using is called but I'm gonna use it because I have it on all of my um, uh, snake enclosures to keep some of the air in and out I don't want I don't want it to be too dry in her cage so I'm gonna keep this so I got the top sealed and don't worry guys, there is some parts that are not sealed. So there is air coming through her tank and look, she's already going up on that perch thing there. Bitty bomb. <laughs> and then she tipped over her bowl of calcium. And just like that guys, the most basic setup for my leopard gecko. A lot of you guys have your own opinions about how you set up yours. But I've known mine for like uh, two years now. I've known all of them since they were babies. So I know, you know, like what's best for mine. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like geckos, leopard geckos need at least three or two hides. But honestly, mines have been raised like this in small tubs and glass enclosures with just one hide and they do perfectly fine. They're growing, they're getting big. My camera won't focus. Hi, gonna eat for us? She's looking on the bare side. She looks like she's about to go into a shed soon, which is always a good thing. And I love catching them eating their own sheds on camera. It's like so cool to me. Biddy and Bum has like the nicest gray eyes. Hi, baby girl. such heavy arms for me okay so you guys can still see like the green like dots around her eyes that's what she used to have when she was a baby she's so beautiful come on can you eat are you gonna go eat let me put food for you here hey you you lady this way Bitty bum. Hi. Go eat your food. You want to say hi to Zoo Gang? Hi, Zoo Gang. So since I already fed Bitty Bum, I'm going to feed the other boys I have. 
and then I'll probably have them moved out of this of their zoo meds too, probably tomorrow. Let me see what other enclosures I have, like just laying around that I'm not using. Something big for them to climb around in. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard for me to film and grab worms at the same time. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this one is four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so I'm gonna give these to the boys. Let's give this to Richie. Oh gosh. And he'll hopefully come out to eat soon. Manny's in there as well. I can see Richie peeking at his food, so I know he's gonna come out and eat. Oh, Mia's over here looking at me. Hi, Mia girl. Hi.